It's the final countdown to the 2011 Comrades Marathon. 39-year-old Liesel Fort, an avid runner and a mom of two, is one of the nearly 5,000 female participants preparing for race day. Liesel, tell us a bit about yourself and also your history with the Comrades. I have pre-family Comrades history and I have post-family Comrades history, which is quite a bit different. Pre-family, obviously I was single, I could spend a lot more time on training and that type of thing. And post-family, I have to fit it in before work, before driving to school, full day's work. So it, it's quite hectic in the sense that after school, there's no time. It, it's, yeah. it's, it's family after work and it's household responsibilities and that type of thing. Now with you being so busy, what is the average mileage that you put in every week? Well, not as much as I would love to, but I train three times a week in the mornings. I can only train between five and six and then we do long runs on a weekend. So it's about 50, maybe 70 if I'm lucky kilometers a week. And is that your maximum? Well, the max mileage that I will possibly be able to put in is probably about 70 kilometers a week, yeah. Claude Mashiwa, who ended in sixth place last year, joined them to chat about his routine. You are a professional athlete. What does your weekly mileage look like? I started training for Combrit uh, in February. So for a month, uh, it's uh, around uh, 680 to 700. Uh. Claude, do you do any other types of training? Because I know training for the comrades, you need to spend a lot of time on the road. But is there any other types of training involved? My training is structured uh, like I've got a day for speed down the track, uh, hill and long runs. Do you do any weight training at all? No, not at all. Claude tries not to build any excess muscle bulk. Top marathon runners tend to be light and lean. He says two of his strengths are being exceptionally self-motivated and disciplined. Lisa, when it comes to recovery, how important is that in terms of you benefiting properly from your training? For me, it's, it's very important because I'm so rushed all the time. I don't get to spend a lot of time on recovery. I use USN's Recover Max. It's absolutely essential for the glutamine and branch chain amino acids. And I'm, I'm quite pedantic about taking that after every long run. And Claude, what about supplements for you? Which supplements do you always use when training? I can't uh, train with that Recover Max. Uh, it's definitely uh, one of my best products. Both Claude and Liesel found USN products that suit their individual goals and lifestyles. This was done with the help of a needs and risk assessment by a knowledgeable USN supplier. As a working mom and you're very busy, carb loading must be very important. Absolutely, because I don't follow a proper diet, I'm just too busy to sit down and eat. I really depend on my Enduro carb, which is a, a carb loading drink. So you mix it in and you know, I have it handy the whole day, which I use for three days running up to my event. And in terms of food, I mean, do you eat like bowls of pasta? I don't, it makes me feel heavy. So I do eat pasta, but I prefer potato, and you know, a lot of other people say potato makes them feel heavy, but that works for me. And Claude, what about you? Carbo loading must be just as important for you. Yeah, I eat a lot of pasta, rice and papa, mm. and chicken, yeah, it's fine. Do you use any supplements to help you carbo load? Yes, definitely, yes. Uh, Enduro cap, um, it helps a lot. The Comrades is sponsored by Flora, Bonitas Medical Fund, Nedbank and Teta. And the 20,000 participants sustain energy by consuming 5.4 tonnes of bananas. And when it comes to the Comrades, there's two types of races, an uphill race and a downhill race. What is the difference between the two? The down is from uh, Peter Marisbeck to Devon and the up is from Devon to Peter Marisbeck. But uh, the down is quite uh, difficult. And which do you enjoy most? I've run uh, well on the uh, down, I've got two goals on the down, but uh, this year I've trained for, for the up here. The marathon can also be tough on athletes mentally. Tune in again tomorrow as we chat to Claude and Liesel about calming race day nerves. Join the USN SA page on Facebook or visit usn.co.za for more great tips and info on leading athletes.